In the long 162 game summer slog of a Major League Baseball season, we are just getting started. Sure, some fans already are tearing out their hair about their team's slow start or bad pitching or, for us Yankee fans, injuries. But nobody is out of it yet. For more than a century, legends like Babe Ruth, Jackie Robinson, Hank Aaron, and Derek Jeter have swung Louisville slugger bats. They are synonymous with the game. But one upstart father-son bat company in South Carolina is breaking into the big leagues. NBC's Steve Patterson has our Sunday closer. For many of us, the song of spring is often best composed by the sounds of baseball. The hum of the park, the pop of the mitt, and yes, that crisp, unmistakable crack of the bat. Looks like you still got it. You know, every blind squirrel finds a nut. <laughs> That's Matthew Rollins being modest. The guy can really hit. So well that he dreamed of going pro. Your plan was to go to the majors or bust. Yeah, absolutely. They were like, there was no plan B. But plagued by injuries, Rollins was forced to hang up his cleats, starting a family and career in the corporate world. Still, he yearned to get back into the game he loved. But how? Turns out the answer was right in front of him. In the hands of the man that coached him all his life, his dad, Eddie, a master wood craftsman. I've always done woodwork from as far back as I can remember. Eddie made his son's first bat in high school. Do you remember swinging with that first bat? Yeah, completely embarrassed. <laughs> you know, honestly, because it's like, I didn't, want to, I didn't want to use a bat that my dad made. Today, Matthew sees it a little differently. I knew he was incredibly gifted and talented, anything really related with wood. And before they knew it, a most unlikely comeback was on. That's actually it right there. Creating anchor bats, handcrafting high quality bats from Matt's grandmother's garage, beginning with grade A maple wood quickly taking shape. All of this for one bat. That's the beginning of it. That's the beginning of it. Yeah. The concept has been a home run. And word is spreading from little leaguers to big leaguers anchoring up. As a former major leaguer, that's a bat that I would have used. Today, Anchor is one of 30 companies selling bats to the pros. This is a little bit like a tweener. Matt remembers that breakthrough moment, watching Bryce Harper, one of the game's biggest stars at the plate with Anchor Wood. I was shaking uncontrollable, literally like begging God, please don't let him break this bat. You know, I don't really care what the, you know, the outcome is other than him shattering this bat in this moment. Make no mistake. This is the ultimate David and Goliath story. The Rollins going up against baseball bat titans like Louisville Slugger. We're just a small component that's part of the story of baseball. We really are living the American dream, you know, kind of coupled with America's pastime. A bold idea born from humble roots with one mission in mind. If you're going to swing, aim for the fences. For Sunday Today, Steve Patterson, Greenville, South Carolina.